welcome Michelle Seloff Costa. I know you as an integral thinker and the author of many books, most of which are in French, but some in English. Uh, your work is focused mainly on leadership and leadership in the third millennium. Could you tell us a little bit about what you have been doing? Yes, my my first uh, journey, my journey began by uh, by working in the field of philosophy on painting. I uh, I study painting with uh, the University of Paris. Uh, who have a very huge department in uh, art and painting. Mm. And um, also I study philosophy with Gilles Deleuze. Uh, and that was my beginning. Then uh, uh, the, minister, the French Ministry of Research, or Research Ministry, I don't know how you say this in English, uh, asked me to get involved in uh, future studies very when I was very young I was just uh, beginning to move from studying to uh, just work <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, they asked me to be part of one of the most uh, important large ever uh, made uh, future studies we interviewed more than 1,000 experts all over the world mm -hmm. about the next century, how we'll, we will evolve through the 2100 century. And <clears throat> then I moved uh, to consulting and I write my first book, who was uh, about the third millennium and how we should evolve uh, through the time and what was the big issues of our time and uh, the mix of doing consulting and this book was for me a very interesting period because I, in the same time I study um, a lot of uh, subject and uh, in the same time I, I can apply them and uh, make, a, make a difference, mainly in big company or uh, in a state uh, organization. And one of the things that you've done recently is begun an organization, an institution in Paris called Integral University. Could you tell us a bit about that? Yes, the Integral University is... Uh, is the idea of a university who could be integral. Of course, we was not able to, to develop a university, uh, uh, a large university. It is just a beginning of university or a kind of a crystal source mm -hmm. university. It is just mm -hmm. uh, really the idea is to give the idea of what could be an integral university. And I, it seems to me very relevant to do this because I am convinced that uh, the integral approach is really the new paradigm, the base for a new kind of university. So I wanted to give this idea and I am sure that in the future, not only this university, but most of the university in the world will have to be integral anyway. So the idea was to begin by uh, a beginning <laughs> and to do it also in the town where the first university ever was uh, built, the Sorbonne, <laughs> La Sorbonne. So the idea was to say, okay, we arrive, we are coming now to a new paradigm in university in the way we think, so let's do an integral university or at least the beginning. So we, we began this university to bring the first stone, <laughs> Uh, symbolique and uh, uh, then we we have done now for four years one day every quarter on different subjects bringing every speaker from all over the world coming to speak and uh, 
it was quite successful. And in, in four years now, we are one of the most interesting places yeah, intellectually in Paris, I guess. That's mm. a quite an mm. achievement because into the intellectual tradition in Paris is very strong, um, at least from an American point of view. Um, I understand you've also worked with Irvin Laszlo. Uh, has he had an influence on uh, the integral university idea? Oh yes, uh, we we actually it was because I was thinking about what we can do next in the context of the Club of Budapest, we was formed by Irvin Laszlo. And, uh, I I was one of the main uh, sponsor or person who have introduced Erwin Laszlo in France and developed the Club of Budapest. I was really the, the first one to, to bring together some people and to try to develop the, the Club de, of Budapest in Paris. And even uh, Erwin was not very well known in France, so I really uh, helped to translate the first book and make him, him know by the, the press and everything. So we were thinking that we need, after 10 years of activity of the Club of Budapest, we need a new, a new project. And then we decided that because uh, Erwin was well known in the integral approach, that it may be a good idea to use this, uh, this backup uh, to launch uh, uh, an integral university. Uh, but I, I should say also that actually, <coughs> Why I launched this university is, uh, is because my way of thinking, even 30 years ago, when I began in philosophy, was already very integral. But at those times, the term integral don't exist. But I was pushing in the direction of a more integral philosophy, uh, integrating East and West, and being more holistic with the body, the soul, and the spirit. Um, and I was one, one of those intellectuals in Paris who was pushing hard or perhaps in this direction, which was quite in, new in Paris at those time. Perhaps it was more, um, let's say, Californian. In California, you have a lot of thinkers in this, mm -hmm. in this direction and those years, I mean, in the 70s. Yes. But in Paris, it was quite a little uh, crazy. To be uh, to push in this direction, but I, I was reading at those time a lot of uh, American philosopher, and I love the, all this movement in USA to to be more systemic, more holistic, and I I find it very relevant. And and it has also led you to a current project, I believe, called Design Me a Planet. Yes, the Design Me a Planet is really a new project, even if uh, we work on it for this last two years, but it is quite new, and it is even very new in, uh, in, his, uh, in the way, uh, in the back idea. The idea why under Design Me a Planet are really new. Uh, the idea is... is um, the fact that for the first time of mankind we are really in a trap because we may be in a trap because if we don't care if we just do business as usual then that could continue perhaps 10 years or 20 years and then we will have very big problem and then mankind may awake but then it will be too late because uh, the systemic uh, evolution and because the system is so large then the situation will continue to deteriorate even if we awake and try to do everything we can and everything it will be too late so we are really it is a kind of paradox because mankind was uh, was a very good uh, very clever to make trap and actually, he's, he's, uh, he's doing a big trap for himself because, uh, you know, a trap is somewhere where you go, he seems, everything re seems very nice, and then you cannot go out. 
even you are attracted by the food, exactly, we are attracted by, by the money, we won't make money, money again, we are very, and so, we, we continue to do business as usual, because it is more easy, but then, the situation, the global situation, the biosphere situation deteriorate, and then, uh, the, 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 even the life, uh, perhaps not the microbes, but most of the, the, the mammifer or big animals will disappear, as uh, all the data now confirm it. So what does Design Me a Planet offer as an alternative? So the, the, the idea of Design Me a Planet is really to put together the best scientists, the best uh, philosophers, the best artists, and to try to imagine at least other position, other possibility, a uh, 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 B plan, plan uh, other journey, you know. Because uh, as you know it, most of more and more pre nobels and very high-level scientists are clearly desperate because all the data show now that we are already perhaps even uh, even it is already too late. So it seems to me very urgent that I at least the best human, the most scientist of the planet, try to find a way, a path, a positive path. When you imagine that now we have spent uh, 1,000 billion just to reward our own model, more than 1,000 1, billion in, only in USA, but then 1,000 billion in Europe, just to try to re, rebuild the financial market and uh, make it continue, and uh, it will not for one very simple reason, it, it is it need grow and ten percent of grow every year just bring us uh, to hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need one other planet to feed this grow. Mm -hmm. So they are a kind of very paradoxical time now where we need grow as ever because we have a huge credit and. Uh, we need uh, also to pay for um, uh, for all the, the, the expense that we are used to, and in the same time, uh, this grow, which is a, a deep necessity in our actual economical uh, logic, is becoming impossible. And uh, so there are a kind of paradox, uh, a logical trap, so what where which need to be uh, transformed in a positive way. So give us uh, an idea of what the steps are to achieve that transformation. I think there are really two, three steps. Our first step it is that we need really uh, a new way of thinking. And integral approach is clearly, for me, the new paradigm, the, the good software, the good base to sing in a new way. That is, uh, for me, uh, very important. But actually, most of the integral thinkers are thinking in a very... Uh, they are thinking all together, and they are little trips, very apart of the rest of the world. And we need really that it is not anymore the issue, the issue is really to sing, use the, okay, use the integral tools, but to, to sing bold, the future of the politic of mankind, and that is very different than just do philosophy, you know. And, um, and then the second thing, it is that it may happen that if we have a plan, if some of the best thinker of the planet began to discover a path, it may happen that mankind will, may say, oh, okay, I get it, that is a good path, and very easily everybody will go in this direction. You know, for example, you have a very ex good example of this, is a mobile phone. Mobile phone, everybody has said, get it, I, I want a mobile phone. But tomorrow, if there are a great idea for 
mankind and possibly different scenario and uh, it is supported not only by one guru which would be awful but let's say 100 of the best thinkers of the planet who are co-creative co-creator of this that may be very interesting and support this tune which is a necessity so uh one of the things that we hope to learn about as we continue these conversations is how we're going to bring these people together who who are perhaps some of the people who can lead that effort and when that is going to happen because as you pointed out um, we're running out of time perhaps and so uh, is there anything that I haven't asked you about in this first interview that you'd like to add before we close? Yes, we, we had a very nice uh, interview with Barbara would be the... Barbara the Mars Hubbard? Barbara Mark Hubbard. I Hubbard. think it will be the first interview that I will made and uh, then <coughs> we will have an interview with uh, uh, Steve McIntosh in Boulder and uh, then we can continue on this in this direction and, uh, for example, I have also other interview with other leader, integral leader. And that would be Ken Wilbur. Ah, yes, and also Ken Wilbur, yes. Uh, yes, well, we look forward to that, and we hope to bring those mm. interviews to Integral Leadership Review. Yes. Thank you so much.